Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue with a new chapter, the three electric current and direct current circuit. So for this video, we are going to discuss the example for subtopic 3.1 electrical conduction. Okay, so from this subtopic, we know that the equations that we use for uh, the electric current is I equals to dQ over dt and Q also equals to N times the uh, number of electrons. Okay, so for example one, the silver wire carries a current of 3 ampere given that the charge of the electron is 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, so now the first question is asks us to find the number of electrons per second pass through the wire. So we want to find n over t. And what is the value that we will get for the number of electrons per second? So here they give you the current I equals to 3 ampere and also they give you the charge for one electron is one equals to 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, so equations for the current I is equal to dq over dt where t, okay, where q is equal to and E and T is the time taken. So when you want to find N over T, okay, so we can take it out. Okay, we can take it out, this one, N over T. Okay, so the equation we will get is I over E, where I is equal to 3 ampere, and uh, E is the number of uh, charge for electron, 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. Therefore, we will get n over t is equal to 1.88 exponent 19 electron per second. Okay, next, 1b, the amount of charge flow through a cross-sectional area in the wire in 55 seconds. So we want to find the number of charge, number of charge meaning that we want to find q. Okay, so here just now we already know that the current here is 3 ampere so we can use i equals to dq over dt where q is equals to i t okay i is 3 ampere t is 55 second so we will get 165 coulomb okay that flow through the cross-sectional area of the wire in 55 seconds so this is the answer 165 coulomb okay example two the wire, the current in the bulb is 2 ampere. What is the charge that flow through the bulb in 5 minutes? So we want to find Q again where we have I and we have the time taken. But now the time taken here, they give you 5 minutes. So it's 5 times 60. So we will convert it into second. Okay. So I is equal to the Q over the T where Q is equal to I T. I is given to ampere, T is uh, 5 minutes, so it's actually equal to 300 seconds. Okay, so 2 times 300, we will get 600 coulomb. Okay, next, how many electrons flow through the bulb in 5 minutes? So we want to find how many electrons here, okay? So 1 electron is equal to, 1 electron okay, is equal to uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19 of charge. Okay, so now we have 600 coulomb of charge. Okay, so how many electrons? So we can use Q is equal to N E, where charge we have 600, and uh, N is the number of electron times charge for electron 1.6 exponent negative 19. Therefore, the number of uh, electron is equal to 3.75 exponent 21 electron. So total we have. 3.75 exponent 21 electrons in that flow through the bulb in five minutes. Okay, so that's all for 3.1. We continue with 3.2. Bye.